Hello, welcome back to new castle vlog. Today we will visit a Penjagon castle and a Broch castle. I set up a new goal for my channel. So already I visit 60 castle. So I want to visit 100 castle. So if you wanna, if, if you wanna see that, subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. If you're ready, let's go. As you see behind my back is a Penjagon castle. It's a ruins of 12th century castle. According, according to local legend, the castle was, was built by Uther Pendragon, father of King Arthur, although there appears to be no evidence of any pre-Norman use of the site. Indeed, the castle was built in the 12th century by one of the Maskeens as a fortified field or tower house. So we are going inside. What I notice is the, is the, the thickness of the wall. It's very thick. I just I want to show you how thick. I think it's always will be very hard to very hard to break even with a with a cannonball. ball. So yeah, I need to somehow to show you. So basically, yeah, as you see, it's very thick. I can just break so easily these kind of these kind of balls. Basically, you need to. Need a cannonball to just break it, break it, and break it. Uh, not like our our house today when we have very thin, very thin walls. That days, that day was they was building very, very, very thick ones, so nobody can uh, nobody can break through. And also, the scenery from from this castle is beautiful. All oh, there is mountains. Right there, you, can even, you even can see the snow there on on, on the top. So it's it's just around it. It's around it right there. It's around the and the castle. It's like a. It's, I will say it's small castle, as you see. It's kind of small castle. I know there there was a, a second a second floor. But uh, yeah, oh, it's just just ruins like that. Later, it passed into ownership of Sir Hugh de Morville, one of the four knights who murdered Saint Thomas Becket in 1170. Attacked by riding Scottish parties on at least two occasions between 1342 and 1541. After the latter attack, it remained an uninhabitable ruin. Kinda cool. Alrighty then. Revolt in 1660 by Lady Anna Clifford. It quickly fell back into a ruin after she died. Reminds of a medieval castle standing on a ridge commanding the strategic Stanmore Pass, a key route to the Pennine Mountains. William Rufus first constructed a wooden moat and daily castle around 1092 within the old Roman fort of Verteris. Attacked and destroyed by Scots in 1174, it was later rebuilt using stone with the addition of a square keep. Um, looks like it's in Mount Everest because it's very, very cold. Because when I was in Birmingham, it was nice and like like warm, you know. But here it's just the wind is so it's very cold. So yeah, I am inside the keep. As you see, it's it looked like it looked like something some more something fell on on the keep. As you see, the the damage is in then 
And this wall is identical to that wall. So as you see, very, very massive keep. This this keep was built or over 800 years ago, so it's kind of old, and um, it was it was damaged by the fire. It was rebuilt as a, a single typical uh, comp compartment keep. Sometimes you need some help when you are vlogging, you know, so I want to give a shout out to those guys who was in my vlog Thank you for uh, for a little help Okay, that's it this For this video, it's over If you enjoy subscribe to my channel and I uh, see you on next video